Hey, you're very welcome to the second instalment of Snug TV. My name is Jennifer McGuire and I am here in the heart of Dublin's nightlife. It's Temple Bar. Now this is where women from all over the world have negotiated their way to the rough terrain, the cobblestone. What were they thinking? Definitely not about chicks in heels. Anyway, I'm here in one of the most vibrant pubs. It's the Oliver St. John Gogarty, and I'm gonna go in and check out how they do Fridays. Snug TV. Aaron Heffernan here, reporting for Snug TV to find out who you want to have a fantasy pint with. I'm on a horse. If you could have one pint with anyone from history, musician, actor, anyone at all, who would it be? Uh, probably famous actor, Robert De Niro. Bit of a ledge. Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> okay. From Friends, yeah. yeah. I think it would actually be Barack Obama. Yeah, I know it's kind of obvious, but I think it'd be good to get him back and bring him for a pint of Guinness somewhere. It'd probably be Ronnie Drew. Ronnie Drew? Yeah. Darren Brown. Darren Brown? Yeah. Largely because I'm pretty sure he could probably make me think I'd had a drink with any of the other people. So I'm going to say Liam Neeson. You know, he seems like the ultimate lad. Give me my daughter back. I have a series of skills. That'll be the end of it. I will find you and I will kill you. It's Bernard O'Shea! They thought it was Hector. They did. But it's not, it's Bernard, sorry about that. Who would you love to have a point with, besides me, obviously? I would have, to, I'd love to have a point with George Lucas. Right? Yeah. Why that? I have no idea, but I'd say, I know that name. And Star I'd, Wars? Yes, he is. And not even, I don't Star even Wars. like Star Wars. I'd just like to have a point with George Lucas. Because it'd be cool. No, just I just so I can say to people I've had a pint with uh, George Lucas. Okay. And it was the first name that came into my head. Yeah, why are why are Dublin I'll tell you why. So good, Dublin pubs are so good. So really ugly Irish men can can marry Swedish women and German women. They come to Ireland for the crack. I worked I, I've worked in bars, I've played music in bars, I've drank in bars. But I've seen the biggest turn up head ugly men pull stunning women by telling them their grandfather's James Joyce. It's the only place in the world where, after a certain time, to be the ability to take your underpants off without taking your trousers off will get you into some beautiful hotels with stunning women. <laughs> That's it for Bernard O'Shea. It's your round. See you later. Now for our next guest. He is currently one of the judges on The Voice. It's Prezi. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Tell me, you live in the UK at the moment, don't you? I do, yeah. What is your favourite pub in Dublin? In Dublin? Yeah. Probably the Long Hall. Okay. The street, I'd say, yeah. Why is that? It's, a, it's got good bar staff. They always remember you. It's got good pints. They do, they do King Crisps. You know, it's enough for me. King Crisps? Yeah, yeah. That's good reason Because like, in the UK they don't do good crisps. Um, okay, so you're on The Voice at the moment. Out of all the other judges, who is the best crack? Who would you have the best night out in Dublin with of a Friday? A, a Kennedy, I'd say, is a bit of crack. Yeah. Right, Sharon, actually, when she has a few drinks into her, is the banter. And me and Keen, I'd say, would have a bit of fun. But um, we all have totally different personalities. I think that's what makes it work. Thanks very much to Brezzy, our very special guest. And next up, it's Lemon Face. So, this week's game is Lemon Face. It is hilarious. We couldn't get rid of you, could we? No, you're giving me free drinks, so yes, I didn't move. We are. Yeah. We are. So, this week's game, hey. we have a guy and three girls. They need to put their hands behind their back. They need to stick a lemon on their forehead. They need to get that lemon into their gob, don't they? They do. 
and make that it. lemon face, which is... You're going to do I'm not doing it. Something like that. The first person to do that wins the game and wins dinner for two in this lovely pub. So, over to you. Guys, let's get your lemon on. Okay. <laughs> on your marks, get set. Oh, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Uh, this is terrible. Go, go, this go, go, consistent. Go, 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 terrible. Go, 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 go. That was too easy. That was too easy. That's amazing. You've done you played lemon face before, I know, but I hadn't you? You've played it before. We have a lemon. Next up, we have some home stories. You get some dry chips, too. Oh, I come from quite a musical background and my dad used to play guitar and sing in the local Dublin pubs. So one time we decided we'd go down and watch him. So we're sitting there and he's playing a Christy Moore classic that everybody knows and loves. Oh my God! Oh my God. We're listening to the song and it's lovely and it's really nice atmosphere and all of a sudden the notorious local nut job walks in the door. No, I'm not, I was young, nothing, you know what I mean? Alright ladies. But he's nice and he listens to the song and it's fine but about halfway through it he goes over to the bar, picks up a stool, puts it down right in front of where my dad is playing his song and gets up on the chair and starts riding the chair like he's a jockey, like it's a horse. No one knew where to look, but naturally we were all dying laughing. The rest of the night then we were up and we were dancing and it just set the atmosphere off. The atmosphere was electric that night and you'd never have the crack like that in anywhere but a Dublin pub. to dublin.fridays.ie and see what's going on. We're going to be in Whelan's on Camden Street next week and we really want you to come down, get part of Dublin Does Fridays, have a buzz. It's great crack. You never know, I might just buy you a pint. But that's it from me. Until next week, it's launching.